Hi y'all, it's Melinda. Um, today I decided I wanted to do a Pinterest sketch. And this is the sketch I chose. And I drew from my slips. <clears throat> and I got pad slot 5, tissue, and embellishment boxes 2, 5, and 9. Um, pad slot 5 happens to be the space between my recollection cubes and that's where I store half of my kit so it's going to be a kit today and this is the photo I'm choosing to use it's printed on metallic paper I don't know if you can see that and the color scheme I'm going to go with is kind of this corally pink color in gray and I've chosen to go with this archived page kit from Teresa Collins. We are memory keepers. And with this sketch, I really don't need all that much pattern paper. So I think I'm just going to do a thin border around the outside of this photo. I have my doilies. I don't know which one I'm going to use. I picked a couple. I think my journaling is going to go in this glassy bag behind the photo. I'm going to do the background on, this is the gray that I think I'm going to use for the border on the photo. This is watercolor paper. For these arrows, this is a stencil from Studio Calico, um, I think it's called Huey. I'll have to check on that, but yeah. And I have this art silver metallic texture paste that I'm going to use. I taped off a section because this is like a full four by six, and then I want the arrows to be smaller, smaller than the photo. So I think I'll just do texture paste on each side with that. For the gray, I'm going to go to my old standard of stormy skies and maybe add some tinsel in to lighten it. For the peachy pink color, I'm going to try my gelatos. This one's kind of an orange and this one's kind of a peachy. This one has a pearly tone to it and this one's kind of flat. So I might have to mix the two to get the kind of the color I want. As far as tissue, the sketch has circles on it, and I went ahead and punched some circles with the tissue paper and some textured, I don't know what kind of paper this is, got it at Hobby Lobby. It's kind of like just wrinkled paper, but I'll use those for the circles, I think. And as for the embellishment boxes, two, five, and nine, I pulled some things that might work. Maybe this camera out of this one, this ticket and speech bubble out of this one, and possibly this camera and the tag breathe out of that one. I'm gonna put you on fast forward so you can see the process. I started out by marking where the photo was gonna go. It's gonna go right in the center. I'm going to do the packaging technique with the gelatos. I ended up just using the more metallic corally color. Sprayed some water. And just smooshed it on. It looks a little bit thick, so I sprayed some more water. I was thinking it looked a little bit too mottled, so I sprayed some water on it and used the brush. Did not like that, did not, so I put the bag, the plastic back over it to give it a more texture. I'm going to call that one done. 
Now, at this point, I probably shouldn't have rolled it off because I don't like... That looks like a fleshy tone to me and not my favorite. We'll try to fix that later. I probably need to get out of the habit of rolling everything off. Now, this is just the stormy skies. I decide to leave it for now and work on the texture paste. And I did look that stencil up. It's called a Huey's mask and it's V pattern is what it is. And I just taped it off with washi tape. I start out trying to be very clean and use my palette knife, but very quickly I break down and wipe it onto my finger and start using that. I Found that that's just kind of the easiest way to do it. Messiest, but easiest. I got those in a set of three. It came with white, uh, silver, and black. Got them at Michael's on clearance. I've never seen them there before, so I don't know if it was a one-off. I tried to line it up best with my eyes. By that time, my finger was covered in it, and I really couldn't get a ruler. I think I did pretty good at lining it up as far as straight across from each other. Now, I take a break and go wash everything off, and this is now 24 hours later. I let it sit overnight. I've spl splattered some of the mist on there, and I'm going to... I don't like how fleshy it is, so I'm going to do this again and maybe not dry it off so much this time. And I didn't like how much of a box it looked like, so I kind of want to get it a little bit, I don't know, more depth by adding another layer to it. Use the same color, more sprinkle. Now I tried not to dab up the sprinkles on that, so I set it aside. I'm going to end up dabbing up a little bit. I'm going to use some of this wrinkly paper as a thin border. I'm going to do the same thing I always do with put it on each edge and wrinkle it in the center just to give it some more texture. I'm almost out of that washi tape. And there's that polka dotted paper from the archived kit. I'm just going to give this just a thin border. Cut it with my scissors so it's not exactly straight, but it's all good in the end. And I see I just added a little bit. It dried a little bit, but it was still a little bit too wet. And I know me, I'd smear it. So I'm just deciding on which doily. I like those doilies. I'm looking for a tag, I believe. Yes. Now this tag looks good now with the colors. I'm going to see if I need to make it smaller. Nope, too tight. Um, I end up changing the tag out, but it stays for a long while. Um, when I choose the letter stickers, they are a bit more of a orangey, corally color, and it makes this tag look very mauve. And mauve's not a color that I particularly like, so I end up going with a different tag. You'll see that later. Just folded up the bottom, stapled it where I wanted it to stop, and we're going to try it on this side for a while. It ends up on the other side, but I'm going to commit as much as I can. Now I play with these a lot, these circles. This is um, vellum. Just got it at Michael's. A scripty black. I wanted to add in a little bit darker color. Just punching in with my Fisker's circle punches. wanted a variety of sizes. 
That's a creative, an old creative memories one. Now I fiddle with these quite a bit. I've sped this up quite a bit and kind of skipped a bunch because the overall the layout took me um, like an hour and a half and most of it was fiddling with these circles, which I don't know, the layout looks pretty simple now when it's done, but just figuring out where I want to place them just didn't come naturally to me for some reason. You'd think for something that's so light and airy on the layout that it wouldn't be such a pain to figure out. Yeah, just more moving around. I should have cut more of this out, sorry. I'm trying, to leave, I'm trying to remember I need to leave space for the title. So that's what I was pointing out there. And I apologize if my voice is a little off today. I'm just getting over influenza. And um, now it's all in my head. I have a congestion and nasal problems. So I apologize. I will try not to do too much sniffing. I'm going to commit quite a bit to this tag before I uncommit to it. I put the waxed cord in it. I think about this and it, it keeps returning. The thickers I end up using are, the silver ones are Dear Lizzie Fox from 2012. And the peachy orange ones are called Polish in Grapefruit from 2013. I was just trying to write down some title ideas. Um, the photo is taken of me last year when I was just about to hit the submit button to a design team call for some sketches. Um, I didn't end up getting it. But the photo, I thought, spoke volumes to my nerves. Kind of The photo showed all my feelings, and I wanted to make sure I captured that into my scrapbook. Um, but with the message of, you know, you won't know until you try. So kind of my don't, don't be so afraid that you don't try. Now I struggle because the sketch only has a small title and this ends up being quite a few words. I don't have a small T so I temporarily put a big T and then I make a small T. And I did, I did put the try all in capitals because I didn't want to have to fuss with making two T's. And that is probably the word that needs to be the largest. And there I am just cutting it. Took an I and an exclamation point to make the T based on what the other T, the outline of the small T's looked like. I moved these around quite a bit. This is where I realized that I need this on the other side. I thought all the weight was going to be on the right side, or the left side, I'm sorry, of the layout. And I ended up having two doilies. I didn't know it, so I peeled one off. So with the title being on that side, all the weight would, been, would have been on that side of the photo. So I wanted to move the tag over. Rearrange those circles again. I'm sure all the different ways that I had the title, it would have worked fine if they just weren't looking good to my eye. Here soon, I think I start sticking the circles down, committing. And this is basically where they're going to stay. Yeah. This is where I started trying other tags out. That's the tag that I stick with, the black and white one. 
I liked that it wasn't peachy colored. And I thought for a while I'd put two tags just to, to, for more color, more contrast. Commit for the photo. We're getting there. This might be one of the more boring layouts I've done as to watch because it's just moving circles around. I apologize. I end up cutting some extra circles because the tissue paper is really thin and it kind of disappeared. So I cut some extra to layer on top of the ones that I already had. And I folded the larger ones that weren't going to be seeing all of them so that they looked brighter. Now the placement of these are nowhere like they are on the sketch. I kind of just winged it. Um, this is how you have to cut, uh, punch the tissue paper. I layered a uh, piece of paper so the, tissue, so the punch had something harder to punch into. Found that out the hard way. My punch eats tissue paper unless you layer it with paper. And I'm going to commit finally to the placement of that. I'm going to nestle the won't right in on top of the no. And I just get tired of moving and say, you know what? This is good enough. Fix my T. Now, I do end up forgetting that I wanted to use something out of the embellishment pack. And after I say I'm done, in the photos, you'll see that I did add the heart, the gray ticket with the, with the, like the cross-stitch heart on it, right above the title, uh, the lower part of the title. I'm going to mark how far this goes down so that I can add a project life card to the bottom so I can write and I just glue it on and I cut the excess off and then I write my journaling on that the magic of TV and it's done stick it in I still think I might use that like I said, I'm forgetting that I needed to use something out of the embellishment pack at this point. Ta-da! Clean it up and I'm done. This is layout 54. And there's the date. And I'm now going to start gluing, on, or adhering on the back the slip I pulled out so I can know it. Thank you for watching. Again,